Now, in other news, the second and final day of a government Q&A session descended into rather ugly scenes on Tuesday, with the session having to be temporarily suspended to allow for cooler heads to prevail. Uh, Shin Se-min has a rundown of the day's events at the National Assembly. Wrapping up a two-day parliamentary question and answer session Tuesday, Korea's Prime Minister Hwang Kyo-wan said that North Korea should no longer be allowed to beef up its nuclear and missile capabilities. Hwang admitted South Korea wasn't able to take the appropriate measures to deal with the North's first three nuclear tests, but said North Korea's continued provocations can no longer be tolerated and that something must be done. While the prime minister called for international cooperation to contain North Korea, Defense Minister Han Mingu vowed that the South Korean military will mobilize all means to address the threats coming from the North. On the issue of the possible deployment of the U.S. missile defense system, also known as THAAD, the defense minister said the program would serve as the bare minimum of the response measures against the North. The Q&A session also covered other domestic non-economy related matters like the oxy humidifier disinfectant scandal and the country's struggle to bring down ultra fine dust levels. The session underwent a brief suspension this morning when some of the lawmakers clashed over questions being asked by People's Party lawmaker Kim dong chul Kim was asking the prime minister about the government's parachute appointments, where the government has appointed officials with connections but little experience to positions of power. With some of the lawmakers yelling at each other, the session was adjourned and the leaders of the three main political parties held a brief meeting to contain the situation. The scene was quite the disappointment for those watching as hopes for the 20th National Assembly lawmakers only into their month term were high. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.